I'm, uh, you know when you take it out the pack and you already know it's about to, let me not jinx it. Just look at the hairline. Hey boos, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am back yet again with another wig review. Today we're gonna be reviewing Otre Kalinda. This is she. I picked this unit up from Hair So Fly. I'll put the price here on the screen. I don't recall exactly how much she was um, because I've been on a wig buying spree. So you're gonna see some back to back to back to back. Anyway, besides the point. So I got this unit in DR2 Chocolate Swirl. She is a 360 frontal lace wig, 13 by six lace. I'm, I, you know when you take it out the pack and you already know it's about to, let me not jinx it. Just look at the hairline. As you can see, I'm already impressed. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Ebon Tinted Lace. Um, I have this in the shade Medium Warm Beige and I'm just gonna spray the inside um, just where the lace is. I'm just gonna spray the lace so that I can tint her a little bit. Okay, this does have the 360 lace, but if you guys know or you watched my last couple videos, I'm not a 360 lace girl, so I'm just gonna cut that part off because I just, I know the way that I'm set up. I'm likely not even gonna put this in a ponytail. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to decide if I want to do a ball cap for her because this lace is real transparent and I think I do. Yeah, I think she deserves a ball cap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, I have decided to just go ahead and do a ball cap with her. I wasn't going to at first, but you know. Let me just say, I prefer to not do ball caps when I'm installing my units because I just feel like it just takes forever. I would prefer not to, um, but I also don't want this like ugly hump from my, wait, oh, too late. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this Evan spray. This stuff dries so fast. I had a split second just now where I was like, maybe I'll do the install without a ball cap. And then I lifted to take this off and tell me why it's already stuck. It's up and it's stuck already. So I guess we're gonna go through with this. I feel like I'm gonna regret this little cut that I made up here because I went too deep. But you know what? We live, we learn. We lose, we learn. We lose, we learn. It's fine. <sighs> this is why I don't like ball caps because this could have been a quick little wop bop a doo bop a bop bamboo and now it's not on. But it does look better. It looks better than what the alternative was. So, okay. On both sides. And then take out this hair in the front. Really don't have to do much with this unit, which I appreciate. I mean, clearly I'm doing a lot. But I mean, as far as like plucking, you don't have to do any plucking because she's pre-plucked, which I love. Got some baby hairs. Now this would be much easier to do with a blow dryer, but unfortunately I don't know where mine is right now. So, I mean, that's fine because we improvise, but um, you know, maybe there's someone out there who also doesn't know where her blow dryer is and she needs to lay her wig. So maybe this will help someone. No, my knuckles look so ashy. I swear it's it's the spray. <laughs> it's not, I, I promise you I wear lotion. And remember when we're cutting our lace off, we wanna cut as ignorant as possible. And the reason why is because you don't want the dreaded like halo circle lace. Okay, she's laid, she's dried mostly, and then she being me is tired. So I'm gonna go back in with my cream foundation. And kind of 
get into styling a little bit more. Now, y'all know I am not the baby hair influencer, okay? I'm not the baby hair wig girl, but I think today I'm gonna give it a shot because this unit does have some really cute looking baby hair. I figure, why not, you know? Why not make it a thing? Now, y'all don't often see me looking terrified, but what? When I say doing baby hair terrifies me, it does because I feel like I look like an imbecile. See? <sighs> like, what am I doing actually? I don't know. Okay. Whew. Okay. This install is turning into something far more labor intensive than I it, than I initially anticipated. So there's that. Let me get my electric hot comb and then I'm gonna sit for a little minute while the baby hairs cook and then we'll finish up with the rest of my review. Okay, I don't know if she's heat safe, but we're, we're gonna roll with it anyway. All right, time for the baby hair reveal. Whoa. <laughs> um, I don't hate it. I don't hate the baby hair, so we're gonna call that a success. I am getting a few tangles near the nape, but not a lot. And honestly, you do expect, like you should expect a little bit of tangling with these like yakky textured units. This is definitely like a blown out, kinky textured unit, so you you should expect a little bit of tangling, not a ton, but a little bit. This color though is actually like elite. Like this color is gorgeous. I'm gonna do a quick little face beat and then I'll be back with my final thoughts, so give me a minute, bad bitch loading. Okay, so she has been badified. Final thoughts on this unit. This unit is absolutely bomb. She is fire. Um, hairline, beautifully executed. I didn't have to do any plucking, um, nothing like that. Looks fantastic. The baby hairs weren't like super duper long where they look like geriatric hairs. Um, so I really like that. I love the color, love the density. It's nice and full, but it's not too full where you feel like you're gonna be hot. It is a like kind of a kinky straight type of texture. I, I think it would be a little bit, I wouldn't say it's yakky. I would definitely say this is more of like a kinky straight texture. Mimics natural hair. Um, Curls, effortless, wig cap, comfortable, hotel, Trivago. Yeah, she's she's bomb. I do want to try the style that they have on the front of the card, just to see, just to see. This is the one where she has it kind of like half up. So I want to try that real quick, um, just to see what that looks like. She's definitely giving us early 2000s. Yeah, I, I love this unit. Um, there was a little bit of tangling in the nape and at the ends, which is to be expected with like a kinky straight unit. There was also a little bit of shedding, but actually after I was done cutting the, the lace off and like gluing her down, I actually don't have any more shedding. So I think that was just a result of me cutting the lace and doing everything else I did to her. So light tangling, not really any shedding after that. Um, Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I love this unit. Absolutely love it. So, so cute. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.